Hi guys, this is Russ from Sparks Hockey. I just wanted to shoot a video showing you how to fill out our payback calculator. I believe this will help you make a more informed decision on whether or not Sparks is a great purchase for you. I'm gonna run through this for my family. If you're doing it for your family, where you're not explaining every button, I anticipate the calculator will take you in total about five minutes to fill out. Well worth doing. Again, it helps empower you as a customer and a consumer to make a more informed decision. So here we go. Uh, in my case, I'm in the United States. Uh, if you happen to live in Canada, select Canada and what it will do is it will choose the Canadian dollar and kilometers. So I'll choose the United States. How far away is your preferred sharpener? My sharpener is approximately 15 miles from my house, so I'll choose that. Takes me about 20, 25 minutes to get there. I would say I typically wait about 20 minutes for my skate sharpening when I go to the shop. And I believe my shop charges me $7 these days. How many skaters are in my household? There are two in my household. There's me and my son. So in this field, choose as many skaters as you have. We, if you have more than five skaters in your house, you probably don't even need to fill out this calculator. Sparks is going to be a worthwhile investment for you. But in my case, there is two. The next question is a little bit confusing, but what we're trying to get at here is if you're the kind of person that gets your skate sharpened right before you get on the ice, you would choose 100% in this field. In my case, I don't really like using the shop at my rink or the two rinks that I, that I skate at. In one case, that rink doesn't even have a shop. And in the other case, I don't really trust that sharpener. So I would choose 0%. If you're the kind of person or family that's a mixture, choose the percentage of the time that you get your skate sharpened while you're already there skating. So in my case, it's zero. How many years left playing hockey? I recommend people choose, in this case, how many years. It's basically how many years you want this analysis to be scoped at. And for me, I have a 12-year-old playing. He'll probably play for another seven years or so. I'm going to choose seven years for my analysis. And this last question or second to last question is, do you want to assume a cost for your time in this analysis? And for me, the answer is yes. Our calculator assumes $10 an hour. We surveyed everybody at the office. The benchmark we had was how much do you pay your babysitter because if you're or you're paying your babysitter ten dollars an hour so that you can be freed up to go do other tasks we felt that that was a reasonable estimate for the value of your time so we use ten dollars an hour if you want to choose a higher number i did this survey yesterday with somebody who said their time was worth at least twenty dollars an hour and so you could choose no and put twenty dollars in here or you can you can say i don't want to choose any value for my time uh, that's pretty hard to believe that somebody doesn't value their time, but if that's you, please enter zero. Otherwise, choose yes. We think $10 is a good number. And next, this question is, do you typically get your skate sharpened if you have multiple skaters in your household? Do you get your skate sharpened uh, all together, like you batch your skates and bring them to the shop, or do you typically get your skate sharpened separately? In my house, I typically bring all the skates together to the shop. So there you go, same trip. Now continue. So now we're gonna fill out, for each skater that you have, you're gonna fill out their skating preferences and their sharpening preferences. And in my household, there are two of us. I'll go first. This is me, Russ. How many times a season, in season, so these are the seven months of the hockey season, the typical hockey season, how many times a week do I skate? I skate twice a week. And in the off season, I also skate twice a week. These are the five months of the year outside of the normal hockey season. So for me, I skate the same all year round, two times a week. Um, how many times do I skate in between skate sharpenings? And this is in the past. I would probably go about every month, so eight times in between skate sharpenings. That was always something that I wished I could do more. And I probably would have liked to have gotten my skate sharpened every three times. That would be my preference. Now we'll go on to the next skater. So this skater is my son. And what we can do here is we can copy the previous skater's details to start. And so then I'll switch this to Owen, my son. He skates four 
to five times a week during the season. And then on the off season, he does a camp every summer. It actually turns out to be twice a week. And he probably in the past would get his skate sharpened with me. So it would be once a month. And since I was going eight times a month, he was actually going 16 times a month in between sharpenings, which is really terrible. And that means he was probably skating on bad edges a lot of the time. And I know he would prefer to sharpen his skates, same as me, probably every three times he skates. And I know now he's really doing it every other time he skates, just like I do it. But we'll say every three times he skates. And that's all the information you need. So now we hit calculate and we get the payback calculator results. So what you see here is in my current behavior, but if I purchase Sparks, I would save over the time span of my analysis, which is this seven years, I would save $1,368. I would save myself 93 hours that I would otherwise have been driving around and standing in line at a store to get my skate sharpened. And it would only take me 33 months to pay back my Sparks purchase. So that's just under three years. And that's at my current behavior. That's sharpening. I think we said my son was every 16 times he plays and me was every eight times that I play. So if I bought Sparks and didn't change my sharpening behavior, I would pay back Sparks in 33 months. Oh, this is some detailed analysis here. So this gives you how many miles you would drive to the pro shop before Sparks, how many miles afterwards, how many hours you would spend or in line and driving versus how many hours you would spend using the Sparks machine. Here's your sharpening costs between the two options. And then again, here's your total costs. And the difference between these two values is your savings up here on this previous top of screen up here. The more compelling data is down at the bottom of the results page. So this is my desired payback calculation. So this takes into account what we said before, which is I'd like to get my skate sharpened every three times I skate and my son also would like to get his skates sharpened every three times he skates. And so what we can see here is if we behaved as we wanted to, we would save over the time span of this analysis, seven years, we would save $8,438. We would save ourselves almost 400 hours that we would be driving around and standing in line again at shops. And it would only take me eight months to pay back my Sparks purchase. So this is a really great way to summarize the payback calculation for purchasing Sparks. It helps you make a better decision. And what you can do here at the bottom is you can either print your results or you can email your results. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send them to help at sparkshockey.com. Any one of you can send an email to if you need help with this calculator or you need any other advice about a Sparks Hockey purchase or a product you've already purchased. And so now we hit submit and those results will be sent off to that email address. And with those results, I should be more informed and make an easier decision on whether or not to purchase Sparks. Thank you very much. And I hope this video helped you out.